of Chicago, Illinois. I had a chance to, to be a part of the, the ACC celebration yesterday. Um, it was a great thing, you know, all the fans came out to support us and they can't wait to we, for us to get, real, uh, get started on this powerhouse conference. And for me, personally, it's going to just bring the best out for me and my teammates and we can't wait to, get, we can't wait to start. Uh, my favorite superhero, I'll have to say Superman. You know, in high school, my, my high school coach used to call me Superman because, you know, I was, I was probably one of the most athletic guys back then, and, you know, I just to just dunk everything. My favorite moment in memory here would have to be um, two games that we played. Well, the first one would have to be against Syracuse and Madison Square Garden when we made our comeback and went on a 45 to 10 run. Um, my second memory would have to be the national championship just because it's a dream for any college player to ever, you know, get to that point and win. Toughest environment I think I ever played in since I've been here would probably have to be SMU. Um, you know, that crowd was very, very, Harsh to us. Um, it was fun, you know. Um, it was a TV game televised, so you know. I think the crowd was just into it, even though we were winning. But <laughs> yeah, it just made the game more fun. The funniest thing a fan probably yelled to me at a game would probably um, if I wear eyeliner. I would like to address this rumor: I do not wear eyeliner. I just have very nice eyes. If I had to karaoke one song in front of the the local fans in the in the young arena, it would have to be Chris Brown loyal. The one thing I've been doing to improve in the off season is, you know, my body weight just weren't about getting into tremendous shape. Um, I didn't go home for the month of May. I stayed here to uh, stay focused uh, and just been working on my ball handling and just getting my confidence back. The biggest challenge I think this year Cardinal team has to face is that we're a young team. Uh, we got a lot of, we have like six, seven guys new. Um, they have to get familiar with the plays and, you know, just being in college period because we took a blow from losing Luke, Russ, and, and Steven and Tim. So, you know, the only thing we can do is just help those young guys out and just try to get them ready. My favorite thing about the U of L fans is, you know, they always support us, win or lose. You know, they're behind us 100%. You know, they always get us um, hyped for the games when we're down. They always make us get that comeback and make us go on those runs. The the toughest teammates I had to guard would have to be Luke and probably Cal Cal Curry. I think those two guys they they play different but similar to each other. And you know, as a freshman coming in, I had to go I had to guard Cal, and he was very tough because he was a he's a smart player and also for Luke. And, you know, he's very crafty and you know he just pick his spots where he want and he knows where to go. The one person I think well the two people I think. Since I've been here um, at UofL, that helped me out, that I look up to, would have to be Peyton and Gorgie. You know, they really, they really wanted me to do good, you know, since I got here. And, you know, they still talk to me this day, just wanted me to get better. As a captain, the biggest change I think I had to make was that I had to put my teammates, I had to make sure that, you know, they stay out of trouble or, you know, just keep everybody in line and just be the person they can come to if they ever need anything. If I could dunk on any basketball player in the NBA, I would have to choose LeBron James because he's the greatest right now. And if I can get that chance, I'll hold it over his head for the rest of his life. There was a lot of reasons that I came to Louisville, but the most important thing that stood out for me was how every, how close everybody was. Um, you know, I was the only like the only only boy in my family, so just being here, surrounded by you know the other guys, kind of made them like my big brothers and it was, it's just fun to be here. It's just like one big family. One piece of advice to give to the freshmen for playing for Coach Pre, um, just be ready because he wants to bring the best out of you and he just want to get you prepared for life on the court and off the court.